Hi, we are going to have a quick look at the upper bound of call options for both American and European options. Now, remember, a call option gives you the optionality to purchase the underlying at the strike price. So, what that means is a call option is only valuable if your underlying moves beyond your strike or else you will not exercise your call option and therefore your payoff will be zero. So here you can see in the first two rows, let's assume that this is a call option on a particular stock and in this call option your strike is $6. In other words, you can purchase the stock as part of your call option at $6. Now, if the underlying stock is $5 in the market, you're not going to buy it at $6 as part of your call option because you can straight away just buy the stock for $5 rather than buying it for $6 as part of your option. Therefore, the payoff is zero. In other words, the option does not worth anything for you. The same thing, if the stock price is $6 as same as the strike, it doesn't matter whether you exercise it or you don't exercise it because it's the same, same as the underlying the strike is same as the underlying and therefore your payoff will be zero in other words even if you exercise the option you will purchase the uh, underlying for six dollars and then you can see the, the underlying is six dollars in the market as well so even if you purchase it for six dollars and you sell it for six dollars you're not going to make any money now you can see once the value of the stock moves beyond the strike so here you can see now it's beyond six dollars seven dollars eight dollars you're starting to make positive payoffs so in these cases the option is valuable so you can see as your underlying stock moves beyond the strike the option becomes valuable a call option so the maximum value a call option can take so in this case so of course this is a theoretical scenario you will not have an option with a zero strike so the maximum value a call option can take is when your strike is zero in other words in this case your payoff will be eight dollars so what this means is that as part of your call option you, you can purchase this stock which is trading at eight dollars in the market for zero in other words for nothing so you will purchase it for zero and then you can sell it in the market for eight dollars and therefore you will make a profit of eight dollars so if if you want to buy this call option the maximum you will pay is the value of the underlying so you can see the maximum value in other words the upper bound of a call option is s naught which is the spot price of your underlying so remember no matter what happens to a call option a call option can never be valuable more than the spot price of the underlying. Now, if the call option trades above the spot price of the underlying, there are arbitrage opportunities. In other words, you can make risk-free profits. So, that's something important to remember. Also, now, if you might be thinking, if you are specifically looking at a European call option, Remember, an European call option, you could only exercise the call option at maturity. So you might be thinking, if my spot price, in this case, let's assume the spot price is $8. If my spot price of my stock is $8, and let, let's assume that there's another six months for my European option to mature. So in six months, my stock, would, stock price would increase at the risk-free interest rate. So let's say it's $8 today, in six months time it might be $8.50. Now even though your underlying stock price will increase at the risk-free interest rate in six months time, in order to calculate its present value, you'll have to discount it back to today at the same risk-free interest rate. And therefore it will, this, this value, let's assume this is $8.50, this value will again come to $8 when you calculate the present value. And that's what we are saying. 
the upper bound of a call option whether it's an European option or an American option is the spot price of your underlying so remember that a call option can never be worth beyond the spot price of the underlying now if it was priced above this price then there are arbitrage opportunities let me know if you have any questions you can post it in the comment section you can like and subscribe to our channel and i'll post more videos on similar topics thank you